Hey guys, happy Valentine's Day! So today's Friday, February 14th, 2020. It is Valentine's Day. What are you guys doing today? I told my husband that I would rather wait to go out. It's Valentine's Day. It's Friday. It's a little stressful. Um, so I think we're going to plan something on another day where it's not so crazy and packed. You know, that's kind of what we do when we get older, you know. Or more flexible. So I decided to go ahead and do another video today. I think I'll probably wait till Monday um, to do my next video, Monday or Tuesday. I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to try to break it up. I don't get as many views on the weekends, so I do it through Friday and then kind of take a break over the weekend. So this is my second video for the week. Anyway, thank you guys for watching my video yesterday. And I just want to clarify, I'm sorry if I came across as being negative. Um, I'm not down on myself, but I think that a lot of times we just look back and think of what we could have done differently, what we wish we could have done. So that's really it. It's just wishful thinking on my part. Um, I do love all of you guys and I appreciate um, all the support. Talbert's mom, so funny. Your All your messages came in one after the other and every time I read one it just got funnier and funnier. I think you just got more aggressive as each message went along so I appreciate that. Um, you guys check out Talbert's mom's channel I'll put her link in the description. I think she just has one video out right now, but she's very knowledgeable um, in a lot of vintage jewelry and um, crystal, things like that. So I appreciate that. Um, I just wanted to clarify. So the reason why I typically do, I've been doing some videos on my mistakes is not because I'm trying to focus on them. It's more that a lot of times on YouTube, you see people glorifying everything that they're doing, whether it's reselling or anything else. And I'm the type of person that I want to show you real life. So I didn't mean to come across that I'm just screwing up all the time. There are things I'm doing right. But it just happened to be that, you know, I've been in this season where these are mistakes and I feel like I just want to talk about them um, just so other people are aware if you haven't made those mistakes before um, that maybe it'll help someone else prevent them from making a mistake. So when I was editing my video yesterday, I realized I never really explained why I made the mistake I did. So if you are just tuning in and you didn't watch my video from yesterday, I shipped out an item that cost me $35 to ship and um, it the customer only paid like $7.75 or something, the flat rate envelope. So I forgot to explain in my video what happened. I said I think I know what happened. So back in January when I was listing a bunch of magazines that I bought from an online auction, I think I had like 115 or 120 magazines to list. Um, I do listing from both my computer and my phone. And a lot of times what I'll do, that's all my eye. Um, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll do all the drafts from my computer and then I'll come into this resale room and I will pull up the draft and take the pictures and list it. Well, I think what I did, so my computer is a PC and my phone right now is a Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. And then, of course, I'm recording video on my iPad. So I'm a little bit technically challenged right now using different um, types of things to do all my recordings and my pictures and things like that. So I think what happened 
was I was listing all these magazines and I think I listed that item around the same time that I listed these magazines and I just wasn't careful and I didn't change my shipping. So um, usually I'm more careful than that. But yeah, I wasn't going to beat myself up over it. I was just going to be honest and go ahead and ship the item out. It wasn't their fault that I messed up. So it's fine. Um, it's really weird though with trying to list your items on different devices. Um, I have found when I try to list items from my phone, not all the options come up, which is a little frustrating. So like there's the option where, you know, you add your own internal SKU and I haven't found a way to do that from my phone. So I usually, after I list an item, if I'm submitting it through my phone, I end up later having to go back through my computer and adding that um, extra information so I'll know where to find that item in all of my boxes. So it's a little bit challenging for me to use different devices and hopefully as it goes along, I'll figure out better how to deal with all of that. And um, I'm a little bit challenged in my videos as well. Robin, I caught your, um, your live stream where you were talking about, you know, doing videos and everything. And um, I'm a little bit challenged on that. So most of my filming I do on my iPad. Well, there was one day that I did some parts on my iPad and then I did some parts from my phone and I was trying, so what I've noticed about my videos when I'm uploading them is that sometimes there is a delay where I feel like my introduction is blurred and that's coming from my iPad. And then sometimes after I process the video, like I noticed on yesterday's video near the end, like it had this little garbage that happened and, um, after this little garbage that came up, then it looked like my my um, audio didn't match my video with with what I was saying on my mouth. And the uh, the video editing software that I'm using right now, um, the app I'm using is Adobe Premiere um, Rush, not the pro version, but the Rush. And I think the iPad, the iPad is different for Photoshop as well. It doesn't have the full capabilities of Adobe on the iPad app right now. So if I want to Photoshop something, I have to do it from my computer. If I want to see all of the um, available things to edit from my computer on Photoshop, if that makes sense. If I, I have Adobe Premiere Rush on both my computer and on my iPad, but I have found like, it's really weird. If I try to um, upload, I don't have much space in Google Drive. So when I am trying to upload my video from my iPad to Google Drive, I tried to do that because I had like video on my phone and video on my iPad and I was trying to upload it all to my computer and go ahead and use Premiere Rush on my computer and see if that would make a difference in the quality of my video. Because I feel like by the time that I'm uploading my videos that it's looking really fuzzy. Um, so I'm trying to figure that out right now, but I don't have a lot of space in Google Drive. And I have OneDrive also, I pay for OneDrive. And when I went to upload a 20 minute 20 minute video last week from my iPad to either Google Drive or OneDrive, it was not working. So I ended up having to combine everything and go ahead and do it from my iPad. So I'm struggling with that a little bit right now. And right now I'm not so impressed with Adobe, Adobe Premiere Rush in trying to edit my videos. It's becoming frustrating. So like that video I did last week was showing the mermaid stuff in Walmart. Obviously that was from my phone because I was in Walmart. And originally I was trying to upload that video to my computer and then the rest of like this video here that I did on my iPad, I was trying to upload that to a drive. It just didn't work out for me and it became very frustrating. So I'm trying to figure that out. I'm trying to figure out why like Adobe Premiere Rush on your iPad it's not giving me the full capabilities of processing. So it processes in SD 
and the way that it has made my introduction to my videos, it just, it's just coming out fuzzy. So I'm a little frustrated with that. It doesn't look like that on my computer. Um, so I eventually I'll have to figure out maybe something better. I don't know, but that's rough. It's rough going back and forth between, um, different technology. It's, I wish I had everything the same, but it is what it is. So let's see. Um, other things on yesterday's video. I appreciate all of your suggestions. I'm always open to suggestions and, um, yeah, so I'm not, um, I'm not depressed. I promise guys, I'm not depressed. Um, I do beat myself up, you know, we're, I think we're our own worst critic sometimes. So I just feel like I need to be open and honest with the mistakes that I make basically so that, um, other people can see what can happen. So that is what happened, um, with this whole crazy, um, shipping thing. So it's fine. It's fine. Um, I'll figure it out eventually. Um, let's see. So I'm not going to show you all of my auction lots today. I think I'm going to try to start breaking that stuff up. I know that it gets kind of boring showing the same thing over and over again. And yes, this is not the best background. But the reason why I've been showing this background more is because I'm in my resale room and it looks like a hot mess right now. So... That is why I have a solid background because um, if you go back to January's videos, I was doing it from my desk and you could see all of the crap in the background. So that's kind of why I'm doing that right now. Hopefully I'll figure out eventually, you know, changes on this background. So I'm just gonna show you a couple lots today. Um, but I do wanna show you like, I, in a previous video, like one of the videos I did, I was joking around with this rock that I found um, that I don't know what it is. So, um, Storage Scavenger said that maybe it's a carved rock. Robin, because she said, um, said that maybe it was a pumice stone. I don't know. But, okay, so here is the back of the rock. I'll try to bring it closer. I don't know if my video is going to catch it. But the other day, so I flipped it around um, the other day and I was like, that is so weird. It looks like it has a face on it. So um, let me show you. Like, what is that? Is that not weird? Like... I don't know. It's like almost like a seahorse or something. I don't know. Maybe it's a mermaid robin. <laughs> She's going to kill me. But what in the world? Like, it's just, so it's like, that is just weird because this was in a lot of items that I bought just randomly thrown in there. And like the back of it, I don't know. I mean, it feels kind of rough like a pumice stone. You turn it around and it's got this like face. Like what in the world? I don't know. So I don't know. That just seems so weird to me. But I don't know. It's just different. I just noticed the face on it the other day. I thought, well, that's it. That's interesting. So I don't know. Weird things. Maybe I'll just keep collecting them. I don't know. One of the thoughts that I had this morning, I'm just going to ramble now because I am who I am, right? Um, one of the thoughts I had this morning is I really want to start doing giveaways. So I don't know. I was thinking maybe every hundred subscribers that I get, like maybe that I could do a giveaway, a small giveaway for now. And then as my channel grows, maybe expand it, you know, not to every hundred. But um, right now, today, I was wrong yesterday. Today, I'm actually at 1523. So maybe I'll do a giveaway 
when I hit 1600 I don't know maybe um, I'll give away something that I got from an auction lot or something I don't know but that's what I'm thinking right now so um, yeah I think that that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a giveaway at 1600 so please subscribe to my channel and once I get to 1600 subscribers um, I will announce it in a video and maybe I'll do what some other youtubers do and have you guys put a special keyword in that video or something and and I'll figure out between now and then that's so at 77 subscribers if I don't lose any so I'll figure out something but I'm in a good mood it's Friday you know always have a lot to be thankful for and um, I just want to show you guys I'm not depressed and I'm usually pretty happy so let's see I'm gonna go over two of the lots that I bought I'm gonna to have to put up here and this is also why I use a background sometimes is um, when I'm describing like when I know I'm gonna do pop-up pictures I typically do this so I just think that clear background you know that's not have you know super messy stuff back there kind of helps a little bit so let's see um this lot that I bought I just put these up here so I could reach them easily but this lot that I bought was a lot of belt buckles um I just thought it was kind of cool I don't have the sheet in front of me so I'll put what I paid for it right here so you guys can see what I paid for it um so all right so there is a Budweiser belt buckle um then let's see a Remington that one's kind of cool that's a cool belt buckle um a little fire truck that's unique a couple of these I looked up you know I do look up items before I bid on an auction I pick a few and I don't remember what I picked out I know I picked out the Remington and the Budweiser and the fire truck I could not find the exact fire truck um so I just kind of looked this one says bluegrass music that one's kind of cool. Um, an eagle. Right there. Hopefully these come across really well. That one. That one's tarnished. Um, this one says first armored division. That one's kind of cool. Um, and then some letters. So here's one that's a J. And then here's one that is a D. And then there was a couple of knives. So just a plain Jane multi knife. It doesn't have a brand on it. Should I say knife? Should I say knife? And this one. Hmm. Oh yeah, there we go. That doesn't have a brand on it either. So, kind of cool. So, oh, and the last thing in this lot, this says automobile chauffeur, Jackson, Mississippi. And there is a reflection of my light. Okay, so that was one lot that I bought. Um, I think I'll make some decent money just depending on the belt buckle. So this other lot that I wanted to show you, I just thought it was really cool. Um, a lot of ET items. So let's see this item. The packaging is really rough, but I thought he was cute. Little ET. It says, I don't have to put my glasses on guys. It says 1982. Isn't he cute? Still in the packaging. The packaging's just worn out. He's an action figure. Um, let's see. These are little, I think both of these are little Avon figures. So this figure right here has the box. 
Um, and the box says 1984 Avon. So this was a little Avon ET figure. This one says flowers. And look at him. Yeah. Yeah, he's kind of cool. Um, yeah. So he was, had a pot of flowers. E.T. came out when I was 12. I am 47. Um, and then this one, oh, this is another flowers. It just didn't have a box. Same thing. Um, this one's kind of cool. This is a mug, and it's from Avon 1983. Look at him. He's cool. I should save one of these for a giveaway. He's kind of cool. I've never seen this one before. I actually have two mugs. I don't know where they are. They're like plastic mugs. I don't think they're worth all that much. There's two different versions of ET that are plastic. And the one that I have is not the one that's worth as much money. Probably $15. Um, this is a little toy from, this one's not as old. It says 1994 on it. And when you roll it, his head goes up, but it keeps getting stuck. So kind of cute. All right. Um, then I have two, I'm only going to show you one of each. So I have two sets of night lights and then two like table lamps. And the night lights and the table lamps, like one of them's worth 60 bucks and the other one's worth about $40. These are sold comps on eBay. So I think I did pretty good with this lot because there's two lamps and two night lights. So this one right here, the cord's wrapped around his neck. Um, he is cool. Isn't he pretty? Like... I'm glad that these are in good condition. This says Xmas. Oh, it's a painted lamp. So they are a little different. I'll have to show you both. This one says Love Nano Xmas 82 to Cindy. Kind of cool there. Look at that. So I don't know. Let me see. Hmm. He does light up, look. See? He's lit up. That is cute. Cute, cute, cute. So, got him. And then, here is the other one. He's a little bit different. Um, I thought he was damaged at first, but I think this is just paper that's stuck on here. I've got to clean him up because I don't. I don't know, um, but just another, he's a little bit different. So he's got this opening in the back. So two different lights, different lights, kind of cool there. And then the night lights are still in the boxes. So I thought they were cool. And the night lights say, and the night lights are a little different. So, oh, this one is in the box, but I'll have to look. There's supposed to be a cover over his chest. And I don't know if it's in the box or not. So I'll have to check. But this one is 1982. I hear something rattling around. So it's probably in the bottom. 1982. So if you see his chest here, that's what is supposed to be on his chest. But these are kind of cool. I mean, even out of the boxes. So, and then the last two things in this lot, I don't know what this is. It said dextrose. It must be a little candy holder. It's just a little plastic ET candy holder. And it, I can't see what the date is on it. I can't even open it. So, but yeah, he came with a lot and then this book. And I actually had this book as a child, I remember. Um, I don't know if I, like some of the stuff I saved, but I don't remember if I kept it or not. 
So, I mean, this book is in really good condition too. I don't know if it's worth anything, um, but the ET lights are. So I wanted to buy that lot because ET is just a cool vintage item and um, some of those items are worth some money. So the last thing I wanna do before I leave I'm at 25 minutes. Oh my God. Okay. Um, the last thing I wanted to do before I leave is, so we do this thing at work. We formed, and I would recommend it for anybody who deals with a lot of um, different age groups, but I live in a very, I live, I feel like I live there sometimes. <laughs> I work in a very busy fast food restaurant. So if you work around a lot of people that's like teenagers and things like that, last year, one of our directors decided to form what they call the Culture Council. And the Culture Council is a group made up of team members that work, work, you know, some work in the kitchen, some work up front, some may be just regular team members, some may be leaders, but they formed this group called the Culture Council. And this group gets together like, I don't think they get together every week, maybe every other week, I'm not sure, I don't remember. And they do different things, like they're the ones who try to figure out um, outings, team outings, things like that. And then when it comes around a certain time of the year, sometimes they'll do just like have everybody write a note to one person showing their appreciation. So since it's Valentine's Day, they decided to do um, heart-shaped cookies and um, pass around Valentine's cards to people. So um, one of my directors, she did one for all of us leaders. And then I have um, one from somebody that I don't know. So I thought it'd be fun to maybe open these and see, maybe it's just a card. Maybe it says something inside, I don't know. So I'm gonna open these. And let's see what it says. Alrighty. So. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to have to put my glasses on to read this. I'm so blind. I started having to wear like reading glasses. Um, probably three, four years ago. I just one day. I was turning off my alarm and I noticed day after day, I would look at my phone and it would start just, I just started to just squint more and more. So um, now I, I wear them a lot at work. So I have, you've probably seen the indentation in my nose. Um, cause I just wear them all the time cause I have no line bifocals in them so that I can just wear them because I don't want to look like an old freaking lady with a chain on my neck. So, this is cute. It's a monster card. We were joking around because when they were, it's funny I got one of these because when they were passing them around, sorry, I was looking at my phone. When they were passing them around, she said that a lot of the people did not want to take these cards because, okay, these are finger puppets, okay? So, but see where the placement of the holes were? So some of the team members did not want to use the cards because of the placement of the holes, which I think is hilarious because it looks like boobies. So <laughs> I just thought that was funny. So let's see, she said, happy Valentine's Day. Thank you for all that you have done for I'm sorry. I, it's hard to read because it's like, it's um, Sharpie. It says, thank you for all that you have done for me while being in this position. You have helped, you have helped me grow. I know I am, being annoying. <laughs> I know I am annoying, but I really, oh, it really, sorry. It's hard to read Sharpie on purple. I know I can be annoying, but it really means a lot that you have helped me. Thank you. 
So, yeah. So, a little monster card. Okay, so the other card that I got has a cute little sticker on it. Oh, and it's one of those little pop-up book things. It's a little thing. Okay, and it says, Steph, thank you for being so loyal. You are a great asset to the team, and I appreciate you so much. So, oh, that's sweet. So, yeah, it's one of those little things. You know, I forgot what they're called. The things that you played with in school. If I can get my hand on it. All right. There it is. There it is. Anyway, if you guys work outside the home and you work with different age groups, especially teenagers or young adults, then it's always good to have a culture council to encourage your team. So that is it for today. I made my video way too long and I didn't think I was going to talk that much, but I love you guys. I appreciate all of you. Please like, share, and subscribe. Get me to 1600 and I will do my first giveaway. So I will see you next time.